Start this demo today by showing you how to use uh, the app which is the sounds of speech in a voice and accent classroom training and how this particular tool can help you to uh, shorten the amount of time that people take to learn uh, with regard to any speech impediment, pronunciation or uh, with regard to um, the way they understand voice and accent. So I've used this for around uh, 10 years now and uh, it's a it's an amazingly good tool made by the University of Iowa. Uh, to start with, uh, you go to this particular link as I've highlighted over here. When you go here, you will see a front page which will show the manner in which sounds are pronounced, the place of pronunciation, is it a voiceless or is it a, a voice based consonant it will also show uh, you the vowel sounds and so on and so forth so let me get right to it and uh, take you through um, a short demo uh, to start with um, let's pick up a voiceless and a voice consonant sound so once you go here and you click on any of the voice consonant sounds and you click on the phonetic symbol uh, it will show you uh, the side view of the mouth how the sound is pronounced the, an actual video of a person who says the sound and the word where the sound comes in the beginning in the middle and at the end of the word so let me pick up the first one ba. that's how it's said and ba. you see the video there and ba. taboo taboo and rub rub let me pick up a voiceless consonant these are sounds which are which use air rather than the voice box so let's pick up the first sound and fa it shows you the cross section of the mouth food lifeboat thief now uh, one of the questions uh, um, you'll ask me is how can I use this in a classroom training so one instead when I when uh, when we teach a voice and accent to a group say I'm doing a foundation training or a pre-process training so one of the things I do is I would divide all these different groups of sounds uh, I would spread it across different groups throughout the classroom training session and I'd ask each group to come walk over to the center use the tool and present the sound to everyone else and ask them to come up with one or two keywords from the audience so say i'm going to present the per sound which is a stopping which is uh, a stopping sound um, i would play the sound say it myself play the sound here and i would ask members from the audience to come up with a place where the sound comes in the beginning in the middle and at the end and they can come up even with one or two sounds. Uh, the other way I would do it uh, when I'm doing a recap is I would pick up, say, a particular sound, say a fricative, and I would ask people, I'll play the word, and I'll ask them, what is the first sound in this particular word? Or I can choose to play the sound here and ask people to tell me which sound it is. And most of the time, instead of my holding on to this tool and using it myself, I would ask the audience to come and do a demo or a quick recap for everyone else. Uh, then we come to the um, after the place and the, uh, we've covered the consonant sounds and the vowel sounds. It's got a very good way for people to 